Hey friends, it's Kate from Venison for Dinner. And I got a short little video for you today, just showing you something that really helps us in our kitchen. So while we do have paper towel in our house, it's not our go-to. Paper towel is for like dog and cat poop or puke, because I don't want to wash those rags, or um, draining bacon, like, you know, soaking up the bacon fat, that sort of thing. That is what we use paper towel for in our house. So for all the other things, for washing the cow's udder, for cleaning up messes off the floor, for wiping faces, for washing dishes, for drying hands, that all uses cloths, tea towels, dish rags, milking rags, all the things. So a couple strategies to help this stay clean and not end up with stanky rags and not lose your sanity. Number one for, you know, just sometimes it's hard to tell, like if you have a lot of, you know, if you have a set of tea towels and they're all the same, how do you know, like how long has that tea towel been there? Every morning, take them all, chuck them in the laundry. Then you know every day you start with fresh ones. We go through multiple a day. We go through a lot of them. But what really saves my sanity is the laundry bucket. In our kitchen, hello Rowan, right beside the fridge, we got the garbage can and we have the laundry bucket. So this primarily has, so there's dishcloths and you know, anytime one gets used to clean up the floor, it automatically gets thrown in here. Um, there's some Rowan's clothes that were dirty. This gets emptied one to two times a day. Um, when it's full, my fancy method is I kick it out there and go, hey Freya, empty the laundry bucket. It's not full yet. <laughs> I know it's not. Um, usually when the boys are cleaning the kitchen. This is also nice because if there is a mess on the floor, I always tell the kids to grab from here first. So here's a tea towel that's still fairly dry. I don't know why it ended up in here. But if we had a mess on the floor, oh yeah, we also sometimes wipe noses from here. <laughs> there we go. Um, but you know, I'll chuck it on the floor, wipe up a mess, and <laughs> then chuck it back in the dirty laundry bucket without having made any additional laundry. And that's really helpful because there's a lot of laundry in this house. Do we deal with a lot of laundry, guys? Yeah. 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 Deal with some this morning. So we have our laundry method. So there's this, and then this goes to the laundry room. In the laundry room, yeah. we have two styles of laundry baskets. Mm -hmm. We have tall ones, and the tall ones are where the dirty laundry goes. And then we have rectangular ones, and the rectangular ones are where the clean laundry goes. The kids were just putting away some clean laundry, which is why it's here. Have we have one wicker basket. This also does clean laundry. But this way I know if it's in one of these, it's dirty, it's clean laundry, needs to be put away. If it's in one of the tall ones, it's dirty laundry, needing to be washed. There's something to add here. And if we're doing like a big upstairs tidy and we'll click up dirty laundry, there'll normally be a laundry basket in mom's room or Freya's room. And then we'll just gather up all the dirty laundry and put it in there. So yes, we might use it to gather dirty laundry, but it doesn't stay in there. What do you do then? You bring it down and you dump it in one of the tall laundry baskets. Yep, and then mom puts it in the washing machine and in the dryer and then we deal with them. Yep, so my job is I wash and dry all the laundry and Mac sorts and folds it into piles and where it goes and Hamish brings those piles where they need to go and Freya helps with that too. Rowan, leave the computer alone. Thank you. Come on, sweetie pie. Nope, away from here. Hey guys, could the pillow go back on the couch so we don't trip on it? So, normally I would not be doing this, but I'm doing so anyways to show you. So then in here, if there's something like, there's usually one of these baskets sits on top of the dryer. Yeah, and this is the washing and machine. And that's the washing machine. So the other thing is sometimes I'm going through here and I'm like, why is this hat in here? This hat is not dirty. And I can't even remember it being worn. 
and it's still clean because it wasn't the you know nothing was really gross in the laundry basket I'll check it right into there why do I need to wash it it's just kids being lazy with picking up laundry and not putting it where it goes now my last thing I'll say about laundry is I only sort laundry two ways there is either wool and there's everything else so anything delicate goes in with the wool on gentle washes like my wool sweater everything else the rags the milking rags from washing the cow's udder kids socks kids clothes all those things they all go in the, in the same wash i don't sort by colors i'm not fancy about it you're either a delicate wool or you're everything else and everything else gets washed on heavy duty with extra water this i've been using this laundry detergent for the better part of the last few years i occasionally try something else but always end up going back to this i really like it and so our washing machine i picked one that had water choice settings these auto sensing they don't use very much water which it's cool except for when your clothes are really dirty and actually you do need the deep water wash. If it's really, really dirty, I'll do deep water wash extra rinse. Pretty much always on hot unless it's wool. And I do the heavy duty. And then this washing machine doesn't do the best job at spinning sometimes if it's a heavy duty wash. So then I do an additional drain and spin, which is a quick spin cycle. And then just means that the dryer doesn't have to work as hard because the dryer is the one that's expensive to run. When I wash wool, I put them in the sink. I'm lucky to have this big laundry sink, but I used to do this just in a bucket in the bathtub. And I put all my wool clothes in there. So in here, there's some things waiting to be washed, like this pair of kids wool pants and such. They all go in there with a little splash of laundry detergent on kind of like lukewarm water and they get swished around and they sit there, usually overnight. Then I drain the water and I put them in the wash on the rinse and spin and all rinse, um, all co rinses are automatically cold. It gets a rinse and spin and then they hang to dry. I don't really trust the delicate cycles on washing machines to really truly delicately wash my wool. I've ended up with too many things shrinking even on a delicate cycle in a washing machine. So by just doing a gentle hand wash um, and then a rinse and spin, things get nice and clean and I don't have to stress about whether my nice woolies are gonna end up destroyed in the washing machine. I would love to hear what your guys' laundry hacks and tips are and how you make laundry work in your house. Everybody's got a different thing. We, whoa, Rowan! We used to do like a laundry day, but it just clogs up that bathroom too much now. Now laundry is just pretty much always going through. And once those two laundry baskets are clean, are full, often those two gray laundry baskets are full. And then the dryer is also full and it's like, okay kids, put away laundry and they'll put it out and clear it out. And that way we don't get too backed up on the dirty end or the clean end. This one just woke up from her nap. That's why you having a bottle of milk? Yeah? Can you say bye-bye to everyone? Say bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye. Can you wave bye-bye? You're not going to do it today? Can you wave bye-bye? Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Does mommy just look like a goon now? Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Pick your nose. <laughs>